And so we'll move on to welcome um, our next guest um, representing Filecoin Foundation. We have Megan, um, who is going to introduce herself to the, to the group. And she will talk a little bit about um, Filecoin for the UK's Web3 ecosystem and building the foundation of a dis decentralized crypto economy. And thank you very much, Megan. There we go. Thank you so Maybe. much. Thanks so much for uh, the help and the instruction in the unmuting. <laughs> uh, and it's really a huge pleasure to be here. Thanks so much for having me. Well, um, I'm Megan Clement. I'm a founding officer for the Filecoin Foundation and our nonprofit arm, the Filecoin Foundation for the Decentralized Web. And I'm super excited to be here today to talk about decentralized data storage and how we're able to leverage blockchain technology to perform this true utility that lets us really rethink the way that we think about data and privacy on the internet. Um, so I'm going to start with a brief introduction to what Filecoin is, uh, what the problem is that we're trying to work on on this network, uh, and then I'm going to dive into a bunch of the incredible use cases that we have for the network and how the Filecoin Foundation is supporting the use of this decentralized technology. Um, so we can go on to the next slide. Um, so our current internet model is fundamentally centralized. Um, most of the data on uh, the internet today is Stored by just a few big players in the Western world, almost all data storage happens on either Amazon, Microsoft, or Google. And this creates not only single points of failure when these companies suffer blackouts, a lot of the web can go down for hours, but it also creates a lot of you know questions around privacy and security that we have so much of the world's data and people's personal data stored for, for us and for you know, a centralized web or, uh, or D-Web. Um, and Falcon really creates the infrastructure that makes a lot of this possible. So uh, in a you know, decentralized you know, web model, you have your data stored on a network of computers all around the world, not just owned by a couple small companies. Filecoin is a peer-to-peer -peer network that is able to be used to store files that has economic incentives built in to ensure the files are stored reliably over time. And the Filecoin protocol serves as an to play. People who are storing the data are getting rewarded for it, um, creating economic incentives for reliability. Uh, on the network, storage providers can rent out extra visual storage space to anybody who is willing to pay for their files or pay for uh, storing little pieces of their files. So the blockchain program regularly automatically pays the storage provider on Filecoin. So in like the Filecoin university utility by storing pieces of data, it's a little bit like Airbnb for, uh, for data storage. So anyone can rent out their extra hard drive space. Uh, Filecoin is really a foundational technology for this next generation of the web. Uh, it puts users in control of their data and is finally giving users an alternative to big tech. It also allows users to store as many copies of their files as they want on hardware around the world, so data remains accessible even if some devices fail. And the really underlying mission of the Filecoin network is to create a decentralized, efficient, and robust foundation for storing humanity's most important information. So creating a lot of redundancy and trust in a decentralized system. Um, for the next slide, um, according to Masari, Filecoin storage market continued to grow in Q1 uh, of 2023. Uh, and 100 PIBs uh, stored in Q4 of 2023. Uh, um, and our storage utilization of down. we're still seeing the utility of Filecoin. Um, and we're still seeing more and more people wanting to store their data in this decentralized means. Um, the Filecoin ecosystem includes a rich, diverse ecosystem of contributors across the web. Uh, and I move on to the next slide, thanks. Uh, the map here shows the breadth of our storage network and uh, showing how decentralized um, across the world the Filecoin network work is right now. Um, and we have a storage provider in the UK, Block Z. Um, and so we're really proud to have, you know, local storage even within the UK. Uh, if we want to go into the next slide. I'm also not able to see the slide, so it, tell me if you don't need this next slide. But, um, so Filecoin Foundation is the organization that serves to be the long-term steward of the Filecoin network, providing the essential functions of the Filecoin ecosystem. We model ourselves after other open source foundations, such as the Apache Foundation, the Linux Foundation, the Web3 Foundation, um, Ethereum Foundation, but we really take on that same sort of style of open source software foundation. Um, 
and we facilitate governance of the overall Filecoin network. We fund research and development projects, and we generally support the growth of the Filecoin ecosystem and the Filecoin community. Our mission is to build this broad public infrastructure that allows small businesses to operate as a competitive storage marketplace. Uh, to really be contenders for those large tech companies mentioned before, like the Amazons, the Googles, the Microsofts of the world. Um, and through that, to preserve humanity's most important information. We also, like I mentioned before, have a uh, 501c3, that's like the U.S. nonprofit uh, structure. So we have a full nonprofit um, that works more for the more general decentralized web. Um, on to the next slide. So this is the stuff I love. Um, we've talked about some of the responsibilities of the Filecoin Foundation, and I love talking about the real world impact that we've already had on the network and on the world. Uh, you wanna move on to the next slide? So Filecoin is hosting some of the most important data sets in the world from scientific and academic institutions, um, large uh, genomic data sets, geospatial data sets, satellite data sets, climate data sets. Uh, we have some amazing partners who are trusting us to store their data. Um, University of Maryland is storing um, a bunch of uh, geospatial data that they're building tools to be able to manipulate that geospatial data, you know, using a decentralized network. Um, we've partnered with uh, Berkeley uh, underground physics club we have a bunch of like archival physics data from Berkeley and the thing that we're we, that is relatively new that we're really proud of is um, we're actually storing data from CERN the large Hadron Collider um, we also have a ton of projects in the web 3 ecosystem that are using Filecoin as a storage layer so um, Solana is actually storing their entire block history on Filecoin uh, next slide Human rights defenders uh, leverage Filecoin to help collect, verify, and preserve data. So another big use case that we have is thinking about data privacy. So um, Starling Labs, which is a project of Stanford and USC, uh, has stored evidence of Russian war crimes in the Ukraine um, and is using that um, with the Office of the Prosecutor of the International Criminal Court uh, to be used as evidence of war crimes. Uh, Starling used Filecoin to both preserve the digital evidence and also verify that it was authentic and hadn't been tampered with. Tampered with. Uh, we're also storing um, over 55,000 testimonials from genocide survivors from the USC Shoah Foundation on the Filecoin network. And the Starling Lab also just finished three years of work to develop a new prototype ca camera with Canon that uh, could progress they signed the photos and then when they move onto the Filecoin network, you have uh, proof from time of capture of the image to time on the network that there's been no tampering or changing of the data. Um, the, um, another project that we're really excited about is called Democracy Library. It's on the next slide. Uh, this is something that we're doing with our nonprofit arm. Uh, this is a large project to um, to back up data from uh, government data sets. Um, the, we've recently hit a huge milestone with this. We've uploaded a full petabyte of data to the Filecoin network. Uh, and this includes a lot of information from the Internet Archive, which captured and saved um, US government websites at the end of the presidential administrations. Currently, that goes offline and the information that was held by US presidential um, elections goes away at the end of each presidential uh, administration. Um, I am going to skip ahead, so let's skip ahead three slides, um, just since I know that we're short on time. And so I'm going to talk really quickly about the use cases for Filecoin and AI. Um, Filecoin's in this incredible position to be able to use artificial intelligence data and computation um, to use this like new technology that's coming out to create a foundation for decentralizing um, this new stream of technology. So a few advantages of using Filecoin for AI, um, it's immutable and you have the proof of storage. It creates an auditable and tamper-proof record for AI companies to record their models, data sets, and the proof of space-time mechanism means that we're constantly verifying that the data is stored correctly um, and securely, making sure that the AI models remain compliant under 
uh, under the regulatory schemes that are coming out for them. Uh, we also provide transparency, providence, and authentication. So when it comes to AI, everyone knows it's like garbage in, garbage out. If you're putting in bad data into the models, then the models are going to give you bad results back out. Having an open and robust record of what data was going into the AI data set um, of the providence and the lineage means that you know that the data hasn't been tampered with and you're able to backtrack some of those results that you're getting out from the black box that is AI. Um, the last thing I really want to talk about um, on the next slide uh, is just all the things that we're doing in the UK region. We're really thrilled to join the British Blockchain Association uh, to advance the decentralized web in the UK. Uh, our policy team has worked really hard to push crypto legislation forward in the UK alongside government bodies, including doing a workshop at His Majesty's Treasury. We've also supported several social impact initiatives um, for the decentralized web in the UK. In 2022, uh, we supported the artist Christopher uh, Kundalarian Thomas at an exhibit at the ICA in London, focusing on his cultural preservation work and technology. Uh, our nonprofit arm, the FFDW, also supports the Flickr Foundation, which is headquartered in London, uh, which is exploring the technological infrastructure to safeguard and maintain access to the Flickr, can Flickr Foundation collection of 50 billion, billion with a B, photos. We've also visited uh, students at the University of Oxford through the Filecoin Orbit Community Program to help educate and onboard early stage developers at the university level. We're really excited to grow out our UK community and we're looking forward to collaborating with BBA to drive adoption of crypto and decentralized storage throughout the UK. If you might go into the next slide, um, just a little bit more information about how to learn about Filecoin, how we're enabling a better version of the web, and some of our upcoming events and resources. Um, we're going to go on slide 15. We can see our, some of our upcoming events. If any of you guys are going to be in Austin uh, for consensus, May 29th to 31st, come by our booth. We'd love to talk to you. And stay tuned for some of our details on what we're going to do for um, in Brussels during ECC. We're running an event, a in Brussels event. I would love to see anybody there. Um, if anyone wants to follow up on more of the projects that are building on top of Filecoin, you can go on to the next slide. We have a Filecoin ecosystem explorer. We've got a database of over 150 projects building on top of the network. And we'd also love for you to sign up for our bi-weekly newsletter about all things Filecoin Foundation and Filecoin in general. And go on to the next slide, which is just thank you. Thank you guys so much um, for, our, for listening to this. And thank you so much for the Bridge Blockchain Association for inviting me to present today. Uh, if there's any questions, I don't know thank how much time we have. <laughs> thank you, Megan. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Megan, very good. Excellent presentation. It really is fantastic. One of the best presentations that I've heard recently, really. <laughs> it's very, it was thank very you. precise. It was, yeah, it was to the point and excellent. Just one question. <laughs> thank because you. We, um, yes. We, we we meet with the with with industry and and policymakers on a regular basis and, and um, you heard lord mechanical talk about building web3 economies uh, in the context of uk and i think more broader uh, to use this uh, the file coin uh, we we published many papers in the jbb also like for e voting and and, and other use cases so if businesses would like to use this. Is this totally permissionless? Is there some support available? So if say if I uh, have um, data, a healthcare data or some council data, I was talking to somebody recently who worked for uh, Oxford Council and they are exploring uh, data storage solutions. So how should they start? I mean, is there a, is there some support available or is it totally permissionless? People can just go and use it. So it is totally permissionless, and people can just go and use it if they if they would like to. Um, but additionally, we do offer a ton of support, and we are always looking for, you know, to to help people who are new to um, just the concept of storing something in a decentralized network, uh, get their data onto the network. Especially somebody, you know, like um, you know, we have like I mentioned earlier, the Democracies Library project. So we have um, an ongoing project to try to put government data onto the file 
California network because we think it's really important to put, you know, information that was paid for by, you know, taxes uh, into an accessible way that is owned by the people. And so, um, you know, you can reach out to, to us directly, you can reach out to me, or you can go to fill.org and find resources to get in contact with the Filecoin Foundation. And we can connect you to the right group that will help you get your data up on the network. Excellent. Thank you very much, Megan. And um, thank you. So thank you, everyone. Yeah. This concludes our session. Um, thank you for all joining. Uh, this session is uh, was recorded. And the recording should be available soon on our YouTube channel. And um, these uh, these forums are hosted once a month. So we'll be back next month uh, in June, on the 5th of June, um, Wednesday, with another uh, exciting forum. Thank you again to Filecoin Foundation, Megan, uh, Lord McNichol, Deborah, everybody. Um, this is space is, is open, by the way. It's, it's open 24-7. Um, if you want to come back, uh, see the slides, uh, this is space is open 24 7 and there is no login or password required you just click on uh, the link this link is also available on our homepage british blockchain association website bba metaverse headquarters just click on it and it, you will be right here so thank you everyone for joining and we'll see you next month